Welcome to Coco Plays with himself. I am the huge one, aka the idiot Dave Coco, and this is our Let's Play channel. Even though I've only done 12 and I was supposed to do this daily and I have failed, and ah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're 12 and 1. Uh, the Yankees are next, 7 and 7. Oh, man, look at the Red Sox, 3 and 10. We're taking on the Red Sox in Tropicana Fields. They got Miley or Niley on the bet, on the pitching, and we got Odo Rizzi. Pretend I said that right. All right, bam, bam. Um, this will mostly just be about goals and failures and all that fun stuff. Oh, should I go with Desley? Or should I go Drew Smiley? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I, I'm going to go with Desley. I already announced it to the audience. There we go. I messed it up because I, I started um, What's-His-Face twice because of the 10 run rule. We're going against the last place. The first place Rays are going against the last place Red Sox. Take that, Legion Cage. Legion Cage is for all. Man, one thing I hate about this game is you can't make trades. Vic, Shane Victorino would be on my team. I'm sorry, dude. You should be a Ray. I'd have you. I'd trade you in a second. I'd trade you in a heartbeat. Oh, well. He's not. I don't think he's on Boston anymore. Bam. But anyway, yeah, I thought about, you know, I wanted to do this daily, and I failed miserably. And I thought about doing three inning games, because that's what I used to do as a kid. Plus, three minutes is about ten minutes, so it's about one podcast. And I was like, you know, I could probably spend ten minutes out of your day is a lot easier than ten. 30 minutes out of your day. So I was like, oh, cool. But nope, RBI Baseball won't let you do trades, won't let you create. And during the season, you can't have three inning games. You can have it during the practice or, you know, expedition. Pretend I said that word right. Um, but you cannot have it during the season. So that broke my heart. Because I've even thought about starting the season over and starting three inning games. And I'm also thinking about doing an adventure game or side scrolling game or something to add some flavor to this. Bam. Bam. So, yeah, I've been failing. I want to get back. I have a goal to get on top schedule. You know, wrestlers, wrestle, fighters, fight, writers, write, let's players, let's play. So I need to start doing let's play more. I wanted to do a let's play channel, and I've been failing miserably. I've been busy with work, trying to get books off the ground, starting a new website, prowrestling.me. Go check it out. It's all about pro wrestling. Um, that I haven't. Oh, Ramirez, how you doing, sir? All right, so, and, you know, hopefully I, I get the swing of things. This is just a, like, little get me back in the groove um, to get get used to playing again because I haven't played in a while. And I want to do these daily. It's just, man, real life gets in the way of Let's Plays, let me tell you. So, there you go. But I got to man up. I got to man up. I have to start being a man's man and start doing these Let's Plays because if not, you know, what's the point? I, I think a part of it is, A, 10 minutes, the 30 minutes of your day is kind of a pain in the butt. But, you know what, I, I, made, I made a dedication to get the Tampa Bay Rays to the World Series. And you know what, I, I, have to, I have to pay up on that. I have to start manning up. I have to start delivering it, the goods, so to speak. I, I messed around with the lineup a little bit, so hopefully we get some more pop in our bat. And we have a catcher who's playing for the first time ever. We brought him up from minors. How did we do that? I have no freaking idea. Uh, Lou Pinella did that. I wish we could bring some Giants players. Oh, by the way, congratulations. Um, first off, the New York Mets are in the finals against the Royals in um, the World Series in America. And in Japan, the SoftBank Hawks have won the Japanese World Series. I know, I know it's not. Okay, come on, focus. This is the guy that sucks balls. And he still sucks balls. He used to be our starting guy. I might have to get him. First off, I do swing at everything, so that's kind of my fault. But you're batting 200 on the first place raise, and you're well, you're not the leadoff man anymore. Now we have Rucker as Mr. Leadoff Man. I know we don't. We have what are you doing here? Okay, fuck it, dude. I have no idea. This team, Lou Pinella is going crazy. I changed my lineup for this game, and yep, nope, everyone's drunk. We're just that was supposed to be our leadoff guy. That's who was my leadoff guy. So I, I have no idea who the hell my leadoff guy is. Dude, Jesus is here. So I guess I guess. I guess setting your roster means nothing. I handed in my roster to Lou Pinella. I was like, hey, these are the guys I want to start. I want Rutgers to be up up front. And he's like, yeah, sure, whatever, Dave. <laughs> he's doing like the little masturbation hand single behind my back. And I, I go out, I'm like, playing the game. And I'm like, what the? Yeah, like Rivero didn't get to start on my lineup. 
It was supposed to be Sasso. Bell Rivera said, F you, and Lou Pinella. I feel like I'm the general manager from the major league. I'm like they're stripping off pieces of my dress day by day as they win because I'm like screwing up the thing. Why is Jennings? Jennings is batting leadoff while he's 439. Bam! And a home run! Lou Pinella, you know more than me. I'm an idiot. You're smart. I'm not so good looking. You're good looking. By the way, Lou Pinella is our manager for this season. You know, we, we can't we can't trade players, we can't make up players, but you son of a bitch, we can make up our manager. Maybe we have to get Abe, poor Tokyo Giants, Abe out of it. Suzuki Jr., bang! Come on, baby. All right, all right, all right. So I have no idea who the fuck's in the lineup. The lineup's completely drunk. Completely drunk. Wow, we got five runs? Way to go. Well, if we here's the thing. I want to have shorter games. If we, we get ten run, ten run rules, we rocked it. Yeah, and this is a harder level too. Man, Boston must really suck. Legion Cage, eat my shorts. Legion Cage doesn't watch Coco plays. We need more people to watch Coco plays. I gotta advertise it more on Coco Sports, and I have to do it more. So yeah, we're turning this. We're turning this. We are turning the Tampa Bay franchise around, just like we're gonna turn around this Let's Play channel. I was expecting big things from this Let's Play channel. And uh, my ego and my plan took a big hit, both at the same time. But you know what? Screw that. We're the Tampa Bay Rays, baby. We have heart. We've played in empty arenas before. You know what? When it comes around playoff time, just like the Tampa Bay Loyal Club. Look at all that. Place is packed. Damn, Devil Rays out drawing my YouTube channel. Nah, never a good sign. But you know what? We're the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. We played in front of empty Tropicana Field. You, you people will be around for the playoffs. That's when the fans, and you will be the diehards. The ones watching this right now, you'll be like, you know what? I was I was watching Coco plays when like 10 people watched. Now the whole, there's thousands and millions of people watching. PewDiePie said, man, one day I want to be like Coco plays. And then, bam, you can be like, I was there from day one. I was there from day one. I'm talking to you, Moon. I'm talking to you, friend Yelly. All right, so here we go. I have no idea who the hell's up. Longo's there. All right. See that Kiermaier guy, whatever the hell he is, dude. I'm not a big fan. All right, come on, Longo. We pay you the big bucks. Longo's, in, in the real world, Longo's got a chance to win a Golden Glove. He's a finalist. Hopefully he does it. Son of a bitch, Longo. I know it's my fault, but you know what? You get paid tons of money. In, you get paid tons of money in RBI base, but I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you. I'm looking at you straight in the eye, Longo. Alright, you, fuck you. I hate this guy. I hate him with all my goddamn heart. What the? See, Sasso, you're supposed to be playing Ken. <sighs> Lou Pinella, please report to the general manager's office. Lou Pinella, please report to the general manager's office. Why? Why is Sasso. Sasso is supposed to be playing catcher. I'm supposed to have... Kai Meyer ain't even supposed to be on the field. And where the hell are all my outfielders? Am I playing 27 outfielders? Damn you. You know what, Sasso? You're in, baby. I don't care if you never played center field. Your first game ever? That's what you do? That's what you do? All right, let's see. Bam! Yeah, welcome to the race. You suck. Send them back to the Bulls. Send them back to Durham. All right. Fuck. I suck. Oh, remember when we scored five runs last inning? Ooh, that was a good inning. Shane Victorino, look at you. If we could change Kyle for Shane Victorino, that'd be the greatest thing in the world. I know his stats ain't that good, but oh, man, do I love Shane Victorino. Um, I got to hang out with Shane Victorino, thanks to Randy Harris. Um, and you, uh, and it, we, he was injured. He played for the Clearwater Phillies for a rehab game. And uh, me, Randy Harris, and Shane Victorino watched, uh, I think, a George St. Pierre fight at a local sports pub in uh, Tampa. I think it was in St. Pete. And it was pretty cool. And he, he was probably one of the coolest uh, pro athletes to hang out with. Just all around a great guy. Absolutely amazing. And he would be on my team if I could trade. Damn you, Tengen. Damn you, Major League Baseball. Come on, we need creative players. We need that. And how many outfielders do I have playing right now? Uh, Cabrera. Ain't you a catcher? What the hell's going on? I have no idea. I'm very aggravated. I gave Lou Pinella a lineup, and he said, you know what? Fuck your lineup. And now, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. We're halfway through the game. I'm like, all right, all right, Lou. All right, here comes Rutgers. You're supposed to be our leadoff man. Uh, I should have leaned into that. Oh, well. 
Yeah, see, Rutgers is the man. Yeah, hustle, hustle. Who are you? Are you safe? Are you safe? Yes, and D Jesus. Don't want to get all religious here, but D Jesus, we need you to save us. Oh, baby, D Jesus, D Jesus. Oh, I should have stayed in third, but I, I was too lazy. Ah, come on, prepare. You're supposed to be on the bench right now. Oh, I suck at this game. All right, focus, Dave. If it's, if it's outside, don't. I still swing. I, you know what? I swing at everything. I'm an asshole like that. There you go. All right, base is loaded for who? Jennings, the new leadoff guy. He wasn't supposed to be a leadoff guy, but obviously no one gives a shit what Coco thinks. Coco plays more like Luke Pinellas says, fuck you to Coco. Son of a bitch, I suck at life. All right, says so us. By the way, I mispronounce everyone's name because I'm a fake Rays fan. Actually, I haven't been a Rays fan. I haven't kept up with the Rays for a real long time since I moved to Tokyo. But I used to have season tickets. I used to be able to have it. Right, here comes Longo. I saw Longo play in the Tokyo Dome. True story. Shit, Long Longo, you're 0 for fucking 3. Base is loaded. Don't no, fuck you, Longo. Fuck you and your Golden Glove fucking nominees. Son of a bitch. Fucking Ramirez. He's up next. You know what? I'm going to fucking try to beanball you. That's for fucking long though, striking out. Oh, fuck me. All right, and um, yeah, so I want to get better at this. So here's some goals. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do this more often. I want to work my way up. I want to work my way up. I, I want to be a man's man when it comes to let's play. Um, I want to do at least one a day. That's what I want to build up to. I thought I was gonna do that right away, but as you can see, those who do watch this, I failed miserably. So. I want to try to do at least a minimum of three a week. So if you don't see three three games up a week, I have failed. And um, I, I got to work on my schedule. I, me, and my, me and my wife had a fight. And what I mean by me and my wife had a fight, she yelled at me. Um, I work too much at like schools that don't pay me enough because I love teaching. And my wife yelled at me. She's like, why don't you just stay home and do nothing? You make more money sitting on your ass than you do going to help people. And I was like, first off, I, I thought that would be impossible, but no, mathematically, you're correct. And second off, you're, you're very mean when you're angry. So my wife basically wants me to stay home, podcast, and write, because doing that makes me more money than when I have a real job and go teach. So, um, yeah. So hopefully I can get it. So my goal is, I, because I'm, I, I can kind of do whatever I want, and kind of retire and do whatever I want. I just need to make like an extra 3000 a month. And I have real expensive bills and a big family and take care of two other families. So like, right, if I didn't have to take care of people, I could retire. I could move to like Ito, Okinawa, some cheap place, beach town. But, you know, I have to take care of a lot of people. Speaking of taking care of a lot of people, they're knocking. Podcasting! See, look, see, if this was a 10-minute game, we wouldn't be having this problem. Oh, all right. So, um, yeah, so I, I, I have some... Why did I swing at that? D Jesus, I'm so sorry. That's on me, man. I, I want to apologize to, to the whole D Jesus family. You know what? Go home. Screw it. Yeah. All right. I'm not very good at RBI baseball. <laughs> I'm not very good at video games. I'm not very good at anything in life. But, yeah, so I have goals. And my goals are, I want to make $3,000 extra dollars doing what I want. That includes Coco Sports, which Jerry is running the day-to-day -day on. Uh, my own businesses, but I don't want to get into that stuff. I want to get into the fun businesses. I don't think you want to hear about, oh, well, you carried his stock and plus the Kevin Nash and shut the fuck up, cake eater. But the fun businesses, um, you have Coco Sports, which Jerry is doing the day-to-day -day operations on. And hopefully he gets better at it. And, um... I just launched ProWrestling.me. I have a YouTube channel, Coco Sports, also Coco Plays, Punk and Cheese, and I want to do another writing one, and then I have a book coming out by a, from a publisher, which is starting to become a little bit of a pain in the butt, because I wrote this book like 800 years ago, and I'm like, Daddy, Mommy, I'm a writer! I'd be like, well, where can I see your books? Well, you see, I have six books waiting, but I have to wait for a publisher because... I decided I have to be a big shot. I got to show off and get a publisher, not self-publish. And um, I hope it works out. I hope it works out. Um, 
you know, I'm really excited about it, and I'll probably talk about it. So I'm going to do a YouTube channel on writing and writing. So those, those, like, those are my little fun businesses, and out of those fun businesses, if I can make all those businesses, including Coco Plays, make about 3000 extra a month, or $3,000 period, then I can literally, with, you know, with my other businesses set up on autopilot, I can literally play video games, podcast, and tell stories for the rest of my life, and my family won't starve. So that is my goal. I don't think I'll reach it this year, obviously, because I don't even know if my book is going to come out. What? Did that just happen? <clears throat> that was the most amazing play ever. Was that Shane Victorino? If it is, I tip my hat to you. I, I, I'm going to pretend it was Shane Victorino. Let's find out. Is he center fielder? If he's center fielder, man, I wish I had baseball led him trades. Oh, he's left fielder. Let's lie to ourselves and say it was Shane Victorino. What a play, Shane. What a play. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so that's that's my goal. I, I want to get all these fun projects to make me 3000 extra dollars. Will it fail miserably? Of course it will. But I figured if I say it out loud, then you can all mock me when I fail miserably. Oh, man, I don't want to fail miserably, but it looks like that's what's going to happen. So, yeah, and I'll keep you up to date on the books and all that, and I hope to write more. I've been a little funk. Um, I only got a couple more days to the end of this month, and this is the farthest into the month that I haven't reached my writing goals. A lot of it has to do with me pretending I'm a teacher. <laughs> well, actually, I am a teacher. I just, uh, uh, but I, I started teaching again. I I did angel investing and all that fun crap. So I got a couple jobs, but. I don't know. I should I should be doing the important things in life, like playing RBI baseball for ten people. That's what I should be doing. That's what my goal is. So there you go. And I've been working on ProWrestling.me a lot. If you like pro wrestling, check out ProWrestling.me because that would be awesome. Bam. So there you go. So my goal is that I can retire and do whatever I want. And to retire and do whatever I want, I need the Tampa Bay Rays and Coco Plays to make now. I need all my fun businesses. Longo, should I have the balls to take Longo out? What the hell is... You know what? He's getting a golden glove. He's getting a little... I love Longo so much. He's my favorite player on the Rays. Him and Archer. I saw him play at Tropicana... I saw him play at Tropicana Field and the Tokyo Dome. You know what? You know what? Me... I, I wish you guys, I wish we, this was a stream. Hey, no one would be watching the stream, but on top of that, I could be like, what should I do? <laughs> Tell me in the comments if I'm a complete idiot, but I'm going to take Longo out for the simple fact is, you know what? He's, he's got to, he's got to, he's got to, he's got to get his shit together. Oh, okay, okay. LaForts! Bam! Fuck you, Longo! Fuck you, Longo! Suck my dick, Lou Pinella! Go with my lineup, baby. Bam! Ladies and gentlemen, if you, th if you went down in the comments and wrote that was a bad decision, now you have to write another comment that says, I'm sorry, Coco. You are very good looking for someone that got punched in the face as much as you. Oh, is that another home run? No? Could it be a double? No, I should go back. There you go. Wow, what a nice arm. Who's that? Chain victory? Nat New Rule. Oh, Sasso. I might send your ass back to the minors. Double play. Come on, Sasso. Alright. Here we go. Bam! Crank. Yeah, this is on a harder level. The Red Sox must really suck in this game in this season. Holy shit, Nikes. Or maybe I'm just a fucking man. A man's man. Tampa Bay Rays man. Alright. So let's see. Let's catch up. You got any comments, questions? I got a couple topics here, but. I'll try to save them for games that have less than two innings left. I've ran my mouth about my goals, my dreams. When I grow up, I want to be a robot, Daddy. Um, so now, <laughs> let's see. Here's an easy one. Friend Yelly, Internet Infantry member, original Coco Plays thing. Hopefully he watches this. Friend Yelly, if you don't watch this, I swear, if I ever see you, I'll kick you in the shin. No pressure. No pressure. Bam. Uh, bam. Out. Franielli says, what's your top five Japanese food um, eaten in Japan? All right, that's pretty easy. I live in Japan. You want to know about Japan? Sure. 
I didn't want this to be an all Japan channel, but hey. And I was thinking, like, a lot of times when I'm like, oh man, what can I talk about for a half hour? And I, I do run my fucking mouth a lot and repeat the same shit a lot. But, with that said, uh, maybe I'll just talk and if we change topics, we change topics, you know? I was hoping one topic per thing, because I wanted to be like John Green, but you know what? It can't do that. All right, so top five foods um, from Japan. Well, Japan's very expensive, but you got to search for some real cheap food. But, um, yeah, Japan has some of the best restaurants in the world. All right, Franklin. I love you, Franklin. You were supposed to be lead off. Now you're one for three. You know what? Lou Pinella's laughing. And Lou Pinella just looked at me in the owner's box as general manager and flipped me off. Well, fuck you, Lou Pinella. D Jesus. Left fielder. Eh, fuck it. Everyone gets to play today. Everyone gets to play today. Alright, come on, baby. You're about 167? You should be ashamed of yourself. Look at you. You kiss your mother with that bat? That doesn't even make sense. Alright, so, um, sushi's really good. Um, you know, they got a lot of great seafood. They got tons of seafood. And seafood is so cheap unless it's crab. For some reason, crab and cheese are very expensive here. It doesn't make sense. One plus one doesn't equal seven. I mean, it's a fucking ton. There's an ocean out there. How the fuck is crab expensive? And the same thing with cheese. We got, you know, steaks are cheap, but cheese is expensive. Fucking milk is cheap. The milk and steak is cheap. Come on. Cheese should be cheap. But, um, no. Sushi is amazing. My favorite sushi is Amachi, a.k.a. Yellowtail. It tastes great. Um, um, shrimp tempura is amazing. The seafood is really great. Um, cakes are really good. You know, um, I, when we used to live in America, my wife would be like, Oh, Japan cakes taste better. And I'd have my American pride, like, USA, USA. And I'd be like, fuck off. American cakes fucking rule. You don't know shit, bitch. Uh, I, you know, I wore it a little different when I was around there. But, you know, for effect. And, you know, I was like, no. Oh, man, he's getting tired. Should I change him or should I go for a full game, baby? I'm going to go for a full game. Why the hell not? Yeah, we can, we can man up. We can man this up. Bam. So, um, yeah, when I came to Japan and had cake, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I don't like cheesecake, but cheesecake in Japan is amazing. So, um, yeah, the cake is really, really good. Um, so, yeah, I, I like cake. Um, they have a lot of great bakers. They have a lot of good food. Like, today, the other day, not even, like, Japanese food. I, I ate at a Mexican restaurant. It tastes amazing. Yeah, so they just got some of the best restaurants in the world, but also some very expensive restaurants. So, there you go. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. I used to, when I first got here, I used to hate um, rice cakes, and now that's all I eat. Yeah, I, think it, I think it's healthy, but I'm really bad when it comes to food shit. I'm like, huh? Honey, is that fattening? They're like, yes, Dave, honey's very fattening. Oh, this fucking pig and a... Alright, anyway, I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. The Rays win! Rays win! Rays win! Frangieli, I'm pretty sure that was 97 things of Japanese food. Just come here, Frangieli. Man the fuck up and come to Tokyo and eat your own goddamn food. Ah, oh, man. And they got tons of meat on a stick. Meat on a stick is pretty goddamn good, too. All right. Rays win. 13-1. Beat the Red Sox. 3-11. Someone put this on Facebook on Legion Cage's wall so he knows. Every time I have a friend... Uh, indie wrestler who turned bodybuilder who turned into awesome guy um, that is a Red Sox fan and every time the Rays beat the Red Sox I send him a message and it feels so good. He probably hates me. He's a great guy. He has a reason to hate me but he, I hope he doesn't hate me. Anyway, um, yeah, so yay! Rays win 7 nothing. Way to go. Ba bam And I think he's still got a perfect ERA. Yeah, he does. Look the fuck out, Archer. We got Odo Rizzi. Odo Rizzi, baby! There you go. Tropicana Field. See, 22 minutes. We got to get that shit down to 10 minutes. To play a three-inning game, that'd be great. But we can't have any options. Listen, I know RBI Baseball is getting a lot of fucking flack on the reviewers, but I like RBI Baseball. But it, it does need stuff. We need create a player. We need shorter innings during the season. And uh, we need to be able to trade. Because I would just have my dream team. I wouldn't even be like a dream team like it would crush people. Like we got Shane Victorino. Uh, we'd have Ichiro off the Marlins who's off the fucking bench. Um, basically, 
It would be a common. It would be long. It would be Longo, old school Rays, Shane Victorino, um, tons of Japanese players, and um, yeah. Does Bubba Trammell still play? Bubba Trammell would be on my team. I, I would. I would bring back all the great Rays, all of them. Jose Canseco, bring them all back, and then I would create players for the thing. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Damn you. Damn you. Freaking. You gotta improve. Stuff, RBI baseball. I love the game, but you need some improvements there. All right, so we win. Yay! All right, we'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm gonna fail again. Ah, this Let's Play channel will be about failing and promising to do shit that we'll never deliver on. So it really is like my my dad. Dad, are you RBI baseball? <laughs> all right, like, comment, subscribe. With that, I am over. How do I end this? Do 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 do.